Hey, love bugs. This is Rosalyn back at you one more again. I hope everybody is doing blessed today. I'm feeling blessed and highly favored, and I sure hope the same for you. And if this is your first time coming to my channel, welcome and much love to you too. And my extended family, thank you so much for the love and support that you send me each and every day. Sending the kind vibes, the positive feedback, you know, opening up to me, letting me know how you are. It is so greatly appreciated. It is so greatly appreciated. Thank you so much. For that being said, much love to you. Namaste, love and blessings, love and light. Many blessings are yet to come. And if you've been watching my videos and you have not already, what are you waiting for? Like and subscribe. Even hit that notification bell so you know when your girl's about to upload the next video. And if you feel like you're comfortable enough, please drop me a couple of lines. I would love a chance to get to know you as much as you're getting to know me. Or even if it's about the positive feedback about my video. Or it's just you telling me about, you know, how I came about you being an empath or hey Oka. Or, you know, it's just what do you usually have to deal with? What's, you know, the highs and the lows of the situation? I would love a chance to get to know you. Or, if you feel like you resonate with my video and you enjoy what you heard, spread the word. Give me a thumbs up, like, and even share it. It's greatly appreciated. And thank you so much for stopping by my channel today. And the music I'm listening to in the background is called Schematic. Um, Schematic drums and meditation and yoga. It, got, it has that drum beat like you're just sitting in front of a campfire, like you're on an island somewhere. It's just, you know, hey. But, anyways, my video is about Twin Flame 101 Impasse. There's no turning back. This is for Hey Yogas. These are for Indigo, Star Seeds, Shadow Seeds, Rainbow Children, Indigo Children. Twin flames, hey okas, it's for everybody. There's no turning back. There is no turning back. I don't know what the heck is going on. Like uh, every Friday night, my friend Pam, she runs this uh, horror movie night where you know we all throw it off video, you know, movies that we all you know enjoy watching, and we talk amongst friends and stuff like that. And it gets it is just so amazing. It's just like when we have so much fun, and it, it's just like certain things that me and another friend was talking about and you know nobody was around when we were talking about it and this is online so you know I know nobody's eavesdropping or whatever and it was like I told her something that my father had said that you know my friend my other friend had mentioned something but it was kind of like it was something that I know what it, it was if that if that can be understandable it's like a phrase he would use but it wasn't like she used the exact words but it was around about the same thing that he would say that she would, she said so it made my jaw drop and then when my friends her friend ended up saying something exactly what I had told her my father had said you know next thing you know I, I just walked out the room you know when we were watching the movie online and next thing you know I started getting these mad texts and all, all this stuff and she's like oh my god awesome. your dad's online your dad's online I'm like what are you talking about I started freaking out started freaking out and it's just the next thing you know, it's just her friend said something and said exactly the same phrase my dad said. And I was just thrown off. And it was just like, I know that's him. That's, you know, because he was heavy on my mind. And it's just like he speaks through other people. And it's just like, you know, other empaths are picking up. I mean, it's just like well, we're all sitting out like sore thumbs out there. And especially because in past we have it so freaking hard i give i mean i just give y'all props <laughs> you know y'all go through hell you know i know what you're talking about i keep it 150 y'all know what i'm talking about because you know each and every day it's like you know what they need to give us extra vacation pay we need to have our own insurance Okay. <laughs> in our own insurance because we take hell like we are dealing with our own stuff and then it's just like you hate to see your close friends like going through anything so you're helping them fix it because you're feeding off of their vibrations too and it's just like no we have to be in a better vibration we gotta be in a better frequency you know what What can I do you know what do I need you know, dance around, act funny, you know, what do I got to do to make you laugh, what do I got to do, because I'm like, I'm feeling your pain, and it's like, it's not nothing, it's like we're already have that empathy anyway, you know, you, you feel for your friends, especially the ones that you really care for, and they're really, yeah, you're very close to them, 
So it's just like you're, you know, you're feeding off of it. You know when their emotions change. And it's like now I'm starting to get visions when they do certain things. I'm like, you can be biting on your nails. I'm like, stop biting your nails. It's like, dad, how do you know I'm doing that? Because you know, you, you just see them just doing it. And it's just so crazy. It's like we're all picking up on it. You know, I can tell one of my sisters this morning, hey, you know, good morning. And right when I'm texting her, she's getting ready to text me. She's like, wow, this is so weird because, you know, I'm getting ready to text you and ask you the same thing. And you've already texted me before I can get finished with texting you. So we got twin flame telepathy going on. And it's just like with the twin flames and the empaths and the great, you know, that, you know, the hey, oh, good. We are all like, we're all together. We are all together. So there is like no turning back. You know, there's something coming. It's nothing bad. I don't really feel like it's anything bad. But it's like our frequency is very unfamiliar right now. You've probably been already going through different, you know, you're already dealing with different things that you're going through on a daily basis. It could be job. It could be, you know, home situations. It could be financial. It could be everything wrapped up in one. It could be health situations. And it's like everything is coming at you all at one time. But just stay strong. Just know that you are going to get through this because, I mean, tomorrow, and happy Father's Day to anybody. You know, I'm dedicating this to my father, too. You know, and, I mean, he has just been a big part of my life. Even though we have not been able to be together since I was born. I mean, there he has been my rock, my spiritual rock, like, through everything. Really through everything. Because it's like people ask me, you know, how are you able to get through stuff like that? It has to be everything holy. <laughs> Plus my father being there, being my rock, you know, just being supportive. And it's just like we're going through so many things right now. And there's a lot of us that, you know, probably some of my viewers, fathers have passed away. So it's just like that's a heavy burden already on you. Um, you know, even though, you know, your parents don't want you to be sad. And you're living through, you know, they're, you're living for them through them. You know, and I know our parents don't want us to be that way. So it's just like, you know, I had to make a positive video. I thought I could be sad. You know, I said I cried my cries. I said my ya yas, and I'm good. You know, I try to keep it 100 with y'all, 150 with y'all, 255 if, if I possibly can. But it's just like when we're going through these things, we're going to feel these major shifts. We're going to feel these major energies. So we cannot turn back now. We cannot back down now. If you have a sign that comes to you, and it might not be something you really want to hear, pay attention. Listen to it anyway. It might not be something that you want to hear. And it might, the truth may not be that pretty. But that's something you're going to have to face. That's something you're going to have to own up to. Own your truth. Own your struggles. You know, own your faults, your setbacks. You're all, you feel to, you know, just represent all those things. You're supposed to be grateful for all those things. Because if it wouldn't be for all your mistakes, your setbacks, your boo-boos, your bumps, scrapes, and bruises, you wouldn't be the person you are today. You wouldn't know the things that you know. And that has to be a blessing for you. You have to be able to accept and, you know, and just say, you know what, I'm grateful that I went through this. Even though this person might have put me through hell or they mistreated me or they left me, you know what, I learned from that. Because I know that nobody else can ever do that to me again. I know what to look for. Or, you know, I'm not going to allow myself to be talked down to at work. I'm going to stay on my ground. You know, they might not like me for what I say, but at least they know what I stand for. You know, you, you live in your truth. You shine your light. You step out. Stop being in the shadow. Stop hiding in the bush. Stop being that candle under the bush. And I had to keep telling myself that. Shine your light. I don't give a damn about anybody about what they feel about me. Because they might not want to know the truth. But that is my truth. This, all this is my truth. And a lot of people might not like that. And that's fine. You know, but, you know, that's that's not my job to do that. It's my job to show you the truth, tell you my story, let you know you're not out here by yourself. Just to know there's days that you walk around and try to figure out why am I like this? You know, why do I feel these things where I feel? Why do I feel like I'm more comfortable alone? And I love my alone time. I don't like being alone, but I need to be alone. And people are just wondering, like, what the heck are you talking about? And I'm just like, people like us, especially introverts, and there are a lot of extrovert um, 
empaths and stuff like that, but when you're extra introvert, you stay in the house, you know, you don't want to be alone, but there's times that, you know, you just cannot face the world sometimes, because it, it could be a day you want to be by yourself, and there's people coming at you, and want to talk to you, and want to tell you your problems, and you don't want to listen to it, because you're going through your own stuff too, but you be an empath, you will feel that empath. And it's just that's the reason why they're drawn to you because they want to do that because they feel like they can do that. So, it, I mean, it could be, a, you know, it could be a blessing, but then, you know, it could be a curse thing. And you're just like, why are these people coming to talk to me? Why are they doing this? And it gets annoying and this and this and that. But then you have to, you, that has to be a grateful sense that other people can sense that. But then it could be a curse thing because some people feel like they can run over you and talk to you any kind of way and pull a passive aggressive situation at you and you know you're just like okay where did that come from but i hope you were able to resonate with my video i didn't mean to go yada 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 all on but you know what we're going through this shift um prepare yourself for prepare yourself for all the memories and things that you don't really go through but know that you are going to get through this you are a tough soldier if you are able to get through everything else that you have got through in life that was a lot hectic, just know you're going to get through this too. And I will see you on my next video. Like and subscribe. Drop me a line. I'd love to hear from you. I hope you are able to resonate with this to give you some kind of validation to some kind of questions that you have. And I will see you on my next video. Sounds so much love and light and positivity. Hit me up on Facebook under my name if you have Facebook. If you need to talk to me privately and you don't feel like dropping a line here. And I'll love to hear from you. Make sure it's respectable and not negative. It'll be greatly appreciated. And I'll see you later. Peace. And be wild.